very good afternoon to you. Hope you're well and hope you're having a lovely morning with us here at the craft store. If you have just joined us, my name is Janice. It's great to have your company. We've got a one day special for you now. My goodness, we had a very, very busy show this morning at eight o'clock. Over two thirds of the stock already gone. It comes to you from Crafts 2. And along with that, we've got the gorgeous boy next door. It's our John Lockwood. Hello. You Hello. Right? I'm fine. You must stop describing me as that because it's really not true. <laughs> <laughs> you are fantastic. I am next door. You okay, are. I'll admit to that one. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, no, you are fantastic, John. You know I love doing shows with you and people love watching you as well because not only do they get inspiration, they get advice as well. And that's really important. I, I, it is to me and I think it is as a viewer. We watch the craft store an awful lot at home, as you yes. know. Um, and to me as a viewer, it's really important. I'm a crafter. I want to learn. Mm. And that's a lot of the time, you know, we acknowledge and I know people tune in yes. to learn things. Yes, they do. And really, it's my job to actually you know show you the bits that i've learned and hopefully because as i say all the time i'm a lazy crafter i want things easy and that's why we develop products and i develop products like this is to make it easier i want to get those amazing looks um you know that leslie and thing can get yes. but i don't want to put the work in <laughs> quite <laughs> frankly so i want to cheat and yes. that's that's what i kind of do and, and if i've got to cheat i want to share it with everyone at home fantastic i love that and i love the one day special this really is going to make your life so much easier right your one day special you have got these fabulous aperture stencils for you and you've got a lovely curve on the side we're going to get to that in a moment's <laughs> time six apertures great size as well just pop in my hand there almost a four in size so think about that six of them in total you don't have to choice then on top of that you're getting this wonderful artboard with two magnetic rules as well 19 pounds and 98 pence 958364 is your item number and you're saving four pounds on that deal we're going to get to what an artboard is in a moment's time because we do have another option for you now, if you love your inks, I do know that you are going to definitely go for this particular deal because if you want to go for the inks on their own, they're at the bottom of the screen. But when you go with them, inclusive with your one day special, you're saving an extra four pounds in that deal. So you've got a four pound saving on your one day special, your four pounds saving on your inks and then you get an extra what is it nine pounds and 39 pence if you are a freedom member it gets even better you get that extra saving and there's no pmp to pay now you can split the cost into two equal payments two monthly payments it's not a credit card there's no credit checks in fact how about this if you head to the website and you bring everything up you need on the website and you just tick the box that says flexi buy that's all you have to do and then you'll pay half today and half in a month's time freedom members no pmp on your first payment and you become a freedom member today by popping triple eight triple eight in your basket and then you're a freedom member get the discount today and happy days john can we talk about the stencils and the art board because i know we're getting busy but i also know we've got new people joining us as well yep. that want to understand why we've got this collection right. together so the first thing is if i go to the stencil first yes because you love this wavy edge i do yeah and a lot of people won't have actually noticed before the wavy edge mirrors exactly what we have in the press twin press which is also so available on the show let's start with this so this you've now got stencils that fit in your press twin press and they're designed to fit really snugly okay. if you notice they're actually a little bit bigger on this corner so that you can almost click it in yeah got you yes or if you want them loose you could trim it a little bit yes. but it's designed to be that little bit thing so we've got stencils now that fit in our press twin press okay yep so give us beautiful apertures and of course even when that's not magneted in look it's only moving a little bit on the phone and yeah. there's a foam padding on there there's the foam padding in there to do okay. it so that's good but we don't stencil onto foam no I was and we say. don't stencil onto this surface underneath okay because this surface has got the little grid lines on it okay so that's where we invented the artboard ah. so the artboard basically turns your press to impress which is your sort of stamping stampers friend really yes um, you know this makes stamping so easy we're now turning it into a creation station Fantastic. because we just drop in the metal board and then of course the stencil fits on top and that has the wavy line as well and so we've got the smooth perfectly. and everything fits everything has that wavy line and this little notch out but you even get the magnetic rules 
to hold your stencil in place. Now, I think that's genius because that's going to save time, mess and tape as well. Yeah, exactly. Normally, what we would do with a stencil like this, you would... I'm actually... What I want to do is I want to show you. OK. So I'm going to take a piece of A4 card and I know how much these things cost. So let's take a normal stencil. So I want to stencil that down and I want to stencil through it. OK. A lot of people will do and you'll tape it there. Yep. Yeah. So I know how much this tape costs me. Yes. So I'm going to say that's 5p. OK. OK. That's 5p. That's 10p. That's 15p. That's 20p. And think about how many times you're going to do that. OK. With your projects. Yeah, exactly. So that's down. And I can use stencil tape, but stencil tape tends to rip card. Mm -hmm. It really does. And then if I go on to there and I ink through that. So I'm just going to show you. Just take a little bit of direct ink. OK, I go over. Now, I've got I've picked up the wrong brush because this brush had black on it. But there we go. That tape now is unusable. Because you've gone over because it. Because I've gone over it. And that's the idea. So when I then look, I've I'm taking this off. I'm having to put this into the bin almost. And then when I'm doing it, I'm getting my fingers all mucky. John, you've got a bit of ink at the top I've got as big, well. Yeah, yeah, I didn't do that intentionally. Oh, no. But all of that money goes into the bin. And yep. it's not great for the environment, let's and face it's it. it's atrocious for it, because this isn't recyclable. Yeah, it's not like a dye. You can't keep yeah. using it. Whereas, with the board, I put that stencil down. I then put one rule on. OK. I put two rules on. And these are magnetic? I can then, because these are magnetic, I can then use any magnets I've got. Yeah. So, in any area. So, I want to do that bit at the top there. So, I could put that there. And, yeah, I would go over. Yeah still but i'm not even having to hold it i'm not even having to hold the stencil now this is great for people with dexterity problems or people that you know one hand is better than the other when it comes to crafting yeah. because of weakness for example this is going to help in that but case let's as well. say I, I love that pattern but i would like a heart of it and i don't want to go anywhere else all right so what i do is i take the heart shape and i drop that on top and it fits in so now, if I've got my texture paste or my heavy body gel or medium, I go straight through that and just wash that off. Now there's and an wipe idea. It off. Oh or my days. I can take a brush. But again, watch. I'm not touching that stencil. You don't have to keep it still because the magnetics no, have got it still. the magnets keep it still. All I do is just keep it a little bit in place. So I hold my hand a little bit to stop it moving too much because I've used just separate magnets. But there, I have no tape to waste. Nothing to put in the bin. Fits in. OK, yeah, but there is my dotty heart, or would be yes, if I hadn't if you already hadn't used done the, the piece other bits as well. Yeah, of top. course. <laughs> but that's the idea. So what we've got now is a creation station. We've also got, as you said earlier, if I pull in, say, the hexagon, yeah. slot that in, OK, just only need this held by a couple of magnets. I can draw on it. Of course. Because I can't draw on the foam. Yes. And I can't draw on the other surface, so I can go round. And now you've got that hard underneath, as it were, yeah. to get that precision drawing. I could drawing. even do the dots and the dashes. And, and it's I all lined really up. Yeah. John, that is absolutely fantastic. Oh, my days. Now, listen, if you like the brushes that John was using, and I know many, many of you do, they're available. And you also get this fantastic case as well to put them in. We've been very, very busy. You've got five brushes in total and this great case. Let me just show you the case because you just simply undo the press stud and it's a wrap case as well. So you can get your brushes in there. You might be able to get some other items in there too. £15.99. pence. That is a fantastic deal because you're not only getting the case, you're getting the five brushes as well but if you just wanted to go for the case on its own that is available at the end of course so when you go to check out your baskets that's going to be available to you uh, so that an incredible deal and remember with the demonstrations that John is doing he's using these brushes you can watch this show again so guess what you'll be able to craft along with John with the same items the same tools that John is using if you go for these 792366 and if you pop those into your basket if you're going for a flexi option then you're only paying eight pounds a day for those so that's a great deal right now i do know you love the press to impress i love it and i know you're loving it and john is doing some amazing demonstrations with it as well now if you want to go for your bundle with the stencils 
you've got your art board which fits perfectly into your stamp platform then you can go for that with the storage case for 27 pounds and 48 pence today that's all it is you've also got your replacement magnets in that particular deal then there's another of course payment in a month's time if you want to buy it right now for 54.95 and not divide the cost then of course you can it's entirely up to you how you budget and how you pay 250978 is your item number now with the stamping platform there was something we wanted to tell them about this wasn't we john and that's about the underneath it is this is one of the only platforms that has this so what you would normally do is, as we know, if you're using a clear stamp, you need to stamp into foam. So foam is included inside your press to impress yes. your clear stamps, yeah? But if you've stenciled something, if I bring back a piece that I stenciled a little bit earlier, let's, do you know what? I bet I don't have a piece that's actually any good. Um, let's what do you have need? a look. Some, here we go. I'll tell you what. You got here some. we go. Right. Okay. So let's say I've got this piece and I've just finished stenciling it. Yep. Yep. And what I want to do now is I want to stamp over the top. So I'm going to use the little spray of daisies, which I think are coming up. Okay. Now, normally this is a clear stamp and we would always say you need to have a piece of foam to stamp the clear stamps into. Yes, so it doesn't yeah. go but over to one I side. I don't want to be changing out my stencil platform yeah. and then putting my foam back in. One of the unique things about the Preston Press is on the back, it's got foam. So you've got that. So you've still got that cushioning. So you've right. got that extra protection that you don't have. And a lot of the others are just plain plastic yeah. at the bottom. So because of that, it means this is a very detailed small stamp. So I'm just going to ink this up as normal. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Whoops. I got some on my platform. Yep. Yep. Doesn't matter. Even though we've raised the level with yes. the, with the um, artboard, yeah. we've taken the foam out. But if I just press that you'll see, can you see, I don't think you'll see it, but I can feel it, the foam is moving on the base. Yes. So look. Wow. How clear and crisp that is. Yeah. How clear that image is there. That's beautiful. Yeah, all of the detail. None of it's missed, none of it's squidged. I and the love reason that. is because of the foam, the on, foam the on the bottom as well. This has been so well thought out, which is why I wanted to do the artboard to fit yes. it and the stencils yeah. because it's just invaluable to me this is a tool it is and it's a great workstation to take with you whether you're in the lounge whether you're going out into the garden whether hopefully you're going around to your friend's oh. house or whether maybe you know you're just in bed doing a bit of crafting early in the morning or late in the evening or do you know what why not let's go to bed in the afternoon sounded wrong that but you know what i mean <laughs> uh, right okay now almost 80 percent of the option including your stamping platform has gone we're very very busy for that and it's a great way of dividing the cost now the stamp that john was using just there is available let's have a look at them now i do need to tell you that these are only available to buy here at the craft store and 70 percent of the stock is gone and that's it when it's gone it's gone and do you know what we love about these stamps john is the fact that they have that organic feel by the way i mean if you were to have the daisies or the daffodils in your garden that's how they look. It We've is. not airbrushed anything. No. Th this is how they look. They've not come out of a book of illustrations. They've not come out of a technical book. These have been drawn for us by an artist that we commissioned to draw these for us. And again, on the back of your packaging when you receive them, you'll see the original signed sketch by the artist on there. And all that we've done at 2Js is to actually take out some of those elements and actually move them around. So if you look here on the daisies, there is the original Daisy drawing as done by Cheryl and she's drawn it as they would be in nature. Yeah, I love she's that. She's not just traced it out of a book. No, I love and that. That's, and again, if you look on the daffodils, look where she's added the bee. I oh, know. So we've been able for the stamps to give you a separate bee. I love that. So you've got a separate one on the stamp set and again, add the sentiments and things to it. Well, and it's a full A5 clear photopolymer made in the UK stamp set. You know, 25 stamps in total. Now we talk about stamping onto card and maybe do pattern building using them with fabric inks as well. But how about taking it one step further with your stamping? Yes, the, these are Sammy's. These are um, lovely. And Sam did these. And what he did, he stamped the stamps onto fabric. Yes. And then he did what we call, he calls it Sammy's knot because it's a very big French knot yes. all over the design. Then he stitched buttons on as the flower heads. Isn't that lovely? So again, it, it looks, it 
it looks right, but it's not. I mean, you wouldn't think that was the daisy, but it is. But it's a different way, it's isn't it? It's a different way, way of, of using it. With and the I just stamp. thought that was so clever. And the brilliant thing was it kept him quiet for about a day and a half. <laughs> Did it? It buttoned it was him wonderful. up. Yeah. This is one by Margaret where she stamped it onto the fabric, she's oh. painted it, and then she's just stitched around it in the hoop. I love but again, that. absolutely beautiful. Yeah, they really are. And you know something? When they've gone, they've gone. They're exclusive to us here at Ho Chandi. You can't get them anywhere else. So lucky, lucky you guys being able to get these and put them into your basket because they really are a true delight to use. And because you've got 25 stamps, you've got a lot, of, uh, a lot of other stamps in there to build up backgrounds and also to work with current stamp sets that you've got as well. 068964, anything botanical, anything to do with the garden, anything to do with flowers is so so on trend at the moment it really really is right one of my favorites on the show oh my goodness we were really busy for this earlier on two-thirds is it of the stock gone my word 17 pounds and 95 pence and you get 67 stamps in total let me just show you this one sample because this will really uh, i think hit home with you as to why these stamps are so fabulous number one you can build and create your own designs so that could be a stamp that you've created, but you've created the artwork with all the mini stamps that you've got available to you. Then let's keep that theme on the inside and let's open that up. And now you've created borders and you've created corners as well. If this was a stamp set, John, this would be very expensive. It would. If that was a stamp set, it would be an A5 set. So you'd be talking 13 99 14 99 Yes. As a stamp set, just to do that. And of course, just to do this you design could here. only do it in monochrome. You yes. couldn't do individual colours broken into there. So on the front panel, if you look, there are about six colours there used. That's gorgeous. You could only ever do that in a couple of colours and twist it round. And it's so easy to build, and that's actually built on one of the circle stencils from the One Day Special. Oh, I just think that's absolutely beautiful. Um, these stamps are incredibly busy. I urge you to get them into your basket if you want them. Um, if they do sell out, I don't think we can get any more. We've no, got everything. Had every, we've, we've had every last everything. inch of stock we've got of them, you've had. <laughs> you right. really have. We've eight, added everything one, eight, on. nine, six, two. You've got some lovely elements in there. You've got your tree branches. You've got your flowers in there. You've got your butterflies. You've got your dragonflies. You've got your Christmas elements elements in there as well my word that is a superb collection it really is whether you're new to stamping or you've been stamping for quite some time these are perfect uh, right let's have a look at the website this is where you can head to to see so much more we've got dies available for you we've got cardstock oh now the stencil there nine pounds and 99 pence the item number is three nine four nine two six i think that is it um i think we might be using that in a demonstration coming up so demo. might be an idea to get them in your basket have a look at the stamping plates uh, um the blocks have a look at the stamping blocks as well because we've got some smaller ones in there which will go brilliantly with your finger stamps so do have a look at those we've got extra magnets if you want them uh, we've got the storage case as well if you want that uh, so there's plenty plenty for you to choose from and if you are going for your one day special to create those fabulous apertures uh, then anything else that you add to your um, anything you add to your basket you can divide the cost of that into two as well any questions please do email in it is studio at, i nearly said studio at crafts2.com but it's not <laughs> <laughs> studio at no, the don't craft give that address out please <laughs> <laughs> don't email that one uh, studio at the craftstore.com do get your emails in um, any questions or anything you want to share with John or ask his knowledge then he's here for you right John what are we going to have a look at first right what I thought we'd do is I'm going to show you we talked about like a scene through a window yes we did with the we, we talked about that earlier so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use show you how we can use everything in conjunction together so okay. I've already taken the foam out of my press to impress yes and I've put a piece of A4 card in and this is one of the things I love about the press to impress look that A4 card is held securely because of that little notch I love that that little notch and this is the care that Jane and Peter go mm. to at crafts too they actually made sure that that notch was exactly in the point where A4 finishes. Oh, I see. Yeah, it was, yes. it's not arbitrary. No. It needs that to stop the lid pushing down onto the paper and marking the paper. What a great idea. But they wanted it to be open on both sides yeah. so you can use it, but they made sure that that notch was exactly at A4 paper. Quick question again then. We can use this left to right, right yeah. to left? Left to right. 
right to left. Brilliant. Up to down. Excellent. Even down to up if you Even want to. Even down to I up. I think that would be very difficult, <laughs> but you can use it in any sort of configuration I love, that I love suits the versatility of it, John. Yeah, I mean, it, it's great. One of the things I love on the press to impress, and I've got to say this, is if you actually look at the number of demonstrators yes. that use this. Yeah, and, and you know what? More any, and more. And any demonstrator who uses this has bought it. Yeah, yeah. Because we don't give things away in yeah. the hopes that people, yeah. it's not a policy that we have at all. As no. we were talking about yes. this earlier, yes. Janice and I. So if you see a demonstrator using this platform, it's their choice and they've put their money where it is. And isn't there something on YouTube as well? About there is, the there's an independent review from Sharon Armstrong Jones, who actually works for a different company. Yeah. Um, and she did a, a comparison of all the stamp platforms available at that point. Yes. And this was, came out the best. Wow. And well, that was go. independent. Yes. And I always think, you know, sometimes it's worth watching and seeing what people, you know, I recommend a machine that we don't sell. Yes. Because to me, it's the best machine I've used. Yeah. And that's what we should be doing. Always look to see, is somebody recommending it who isn't actually got an interest in yeah. it? Yeah, it's you're It's always right. a good way to do it. So what I'm going to do is going to go through the window and we're going to go through the oval window. Oh, we're going to go through the oval window we are. today. So it's really simple. I put my card down. Yes. I put my stencil down. See, everything fits. Love that. Yeah. And I can just, and I'm just going to magnet this down. I'm using, I bought extras, so I have got four of these. Okay. But your press to impress, if you get it in the bundle, comes with two standard round magnets. Yes. And then two of these covered ones. Yes. So you do get four, but you only get two that are covered. And you've also yeah. got, if you're going for the full bundle, you've got the rule, haven't you? Well, you've got you? the rules, which in I'm the, going to use yes. next. So what I want to do is, I'm now going to build up a little bit of a scene. So I'm going to use my textures a4 stencil. Okay, and um, we'll bring the details up for the stencils. This is the one that I was talking about earlier on. It's only 9 99 But look at that, you've got clouds in their mountains, you've got grass, you've got sun, you've got clouds, and you've got all those fantastic shapes. And then you've as got well. all the textures on the other side. How fabulous. And of course, is that? you get all of the negatives as well. Oh, right. So you get all of those. Now, what I do with this, the easiest thing to do with this when you first get it, to be perfectly honest, is cut it into two. A5 stencils. And it's okay to do that? It's absolutely fine to do. It's yours. You've bought it, do what you like with it. Yeah, I suppose you so. Know, but to me, this is a lot easier. So what I'm going to do is, we made these. These are made of mylar, and it's the same quality as we use as standard stencils. Could it's we use paste through there then, John? You can. Hey, use paste through it as normal. Sam tested paste in the mall. Ha oh, sorry, another question, another question. Sorry for interrupting. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just get really excited. Could we put it through an embossing folder? You can. Oh. <coughs> Not only um, an um, embossing machine, yes, a die machine. Yeah. yeah. Same as you would normally do. Yeah, no problems at all. Oh, um, but we've had them made quite fine, and that's so that you go right to the edge. So okay. I'm going to put a tree line in at the bottom. All right. So what I'm going to do is use my rule to cover that over. Okay. So I don't even have to tape over that top bit. No. So I'm not using anything that can't be wiped down or cleaned. So I'm going to go here with this lighter green colour. Now these inks are lovely, aren't the they? The inks are John? brilliant. They're pigment inks. But to have the choice, if you, you've got the budget and you go for all of them, yeah. you've got 24 colours instantly available I to you. I just think that is fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. You've really got so much you can do. And I'm going to use, and they're pigment inks yeah. and they're water-based, so okay. we can blend with them and use water pens and colour with them. Can you, what, pick yeah. it up like on pick a water? Pick it up like on a water brush, like you would with a dye-based ink, wow. because unlike a lot of them, they're not actually um, oil-based. A lot of pigment inks are oil-based. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide a piece of paper in under here, just so you can see the colours that I'm doing oh, and brilliant. see what I'm actually doing. Yeah. yeah? So I'm doing that because I want it soft. I'm going to pick it up with my brush, check my brush first. Yeah pick some up with my brush and I'm simply then going to colour through, here we go, should have placed that down a bit better, scrub it in, you see how much I'm scrubbing that? Yeah, and you're going for the lighter green but if you're going for the full set you've got three shades, four shades well, of green you have because with the whole set. What I'm now going to do, I'm going to move that up and move it along a little bit Okay. Because it's darker as it goes back, isn't it? Yes. So I'm now going to go for a darker green. Okay. And again, that's at hand because you've got the inks. So I just take that one out and again put some into my brush. Put my rule back in place to stop me going over the wrong place. 
and this time I'm just going to go from the top and drag down. So now we've got oh, I like that. two sort of tree lines on it. But look, oh, it's very light there. So I'm going to take a little bit of that darker green and just darken up that edge. Do you, you know, looking that? at that, John, it almost looks like a, a cityscape as well. Just a you little could bit. Do, you you could. could do anything with yeah. this. So I'm going to move it along again. Yeah. Okay. And I'm simply going to take now, I'm going into the pearls because they've got yes. this beautiful pearl dark green. And again, this is included in the full set. I do believe the inks have sold out on their own. The only way to get them now is within that one day special op. Option. Oh, no, you can still get the inks on their own. Brilliant. OK, um, apologies for that. You can if you want to go for the inks on their own, then you're more than welcome to go to. They're $39.99 individually uh, or 37. Hang on a minute. How much individually? $13.99. $13.99. I said more than that, didn't I? Yeah, uh, I did. $13.99 individually or altogether. 37.97 but of course if you're going for the bundle with the one day special and you're a freedom member then all of it 48.56 as a freedom member that is an astonishing deal and you can divide the cost of course into two payments so if you're liking the look of the inks that's the best way to do it we're getting very very busy for this option it doesn't surprise me the inks as you demo them john are just wonderful they're beautiful yeah. inks. they really are they're so good for this so I've got three layers of tree line in there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you probably won't see the colours as much. But what I love is because you come, we, we start at the bottom and work yeah. up. Yeah. Can you see you've got a white line behind? Oh, it's, it's like nice. mist in the trees. Yeah. What it actually does is it gives you a defined line between it. That and again, if you, because it's a stencil, because of the way it is, if I want that tree there yeah. to be more defined, I just literally find it go back over it and go back over it oh, or that's good. if you want it really defined and this is a little trick okay take a little bit of your versifying your black ink put a little bit on your base take one of your brushes yeah and just dust over see now oh, yeah, yeah I like that so again let's say I want those to be a little bit more okay let's go there little dust over with the black oh I suddenly like that. It, it's sharp isn't it yeah so now i want to put a mountain in so i'm going to put a mountain in oh this sounds like my favorite there. holiday place this does mountains trees Mount it, it, yeah it would this would be you wouldn't yeah. it yeah so again just using the magnet so i'm not having can you imagine using fresh tape every time? Oh, John, it, it, number one, it would cost a fortune. Then you get your ink on the tape and the tape falls on the floor. Or it makes a mess of something. Yeah. And it's not great for the environment. Nope. In such a way. So this is you that great You would go through an entire roll. I, if you could go through an entire roll of stencil tape doing this. Yeah. But also, yeah. what you would actually find as well is, I promise by the time that you finish this, you'll have ripped the card somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, I would have right. done. I mean, you might not have done at home, but again. Oh, and you know, John, we're busy. We're very, very busy. Over 60% of the bundle with the inks, you get the three inks. Uh, when I say three inks, three selection of inks, one of them being pearlescent. Beautiful. You get the six stencils that you can use with your texture paste, you can use with your inks, you can use with your pens as well. So, so handy to make those fantastic apertures for when you're putting together your designs to give it that backdrop to almost, it looks almost like you've matte and layered the details onto your card. It really is a wonderful way of just enhancing the cards that you're making and just adding the detail so perfectly because you've got those apertures that have those lines that deliver that perfect circle or perfect square or perfect um, oval each and every time. You're also getting included in that deal your art board which really could be a game changer for you. This is made of metal and you've also got the magnetic rules as well. All of those measurements on there, John will talk you through those of how you can use this in so many different ways. That bundle, 24.28 today, another payment of the same in a month's time if you are a Freedom member because there's no PMP to pay. 
Now, if you want to go for the platform that is also available with the stencils and the artboard, if you want to go for everything, and that includes the inks, just pop the inks in separately to your basket and then you'll be able to divide the cost of the inks into two payments. Has the platform sold out individually? I think it has. No, that's available individually. Do you know what? I'm just going to go back down into my little hole and then I'm going to bring myself back up again and I'm going to start again. <laughs> uh, there are lots of ways to buy. You just choose the one that suits you, that suits your budget. You've got all of the options there. Uh, right, John. Well, uh, probably to, to, to sort of say what you were saying then. Yes. What we actually do at Crafts 2 is we put an awful lot on the individuals. Yes. And I mean an awful lot because I know that we have, everyone knows we have different budgets. Yep. So we always make sure that there's plenty on the individuals. Yes. And if they go, we try and put more on if we Excellent. can for people if they just want one bit. So I put one tree line in. Yeah? Yep. So I put, sorry, tree line in, put one mountain line in. Love that. I'm just going to move this stencil over to here to put another line in. But again, look, I can put this stencil anywhere that I want to because of the magnets. And this stencil is providing you with the trees it's providing you with the mountains it's going to provide you with the clouds and the sun or the moon you've got the textures you've got the stars in there uh, we've cut this stencil into two by the way and you can do this when you get it home so you can make two a5 stencils but it's an a4 stencil in total and you also get the other a5 stencil as well you get the innies and the outers 60 percent of the stock has gone nine pounds and 99 pence if you were to, I mean, first of all, look at that. You've got what, if you were going to go for the nature, you've got your trees, the clouds, the sun, that could be one stencil. Then you've got those lovely patterns as well. That could have been another stencil. And then you've got the um, second one, that could be a third stencil. So you could be looking at like 30 pounds worth of value yeah, there. You could. If you look at it in that way, uh, because you've got like sole stencil within there. I just, I, again, the value for money. You're saving five pounds. It's only 9.99. What a great stencil set. I'm going to call it a set to have in your crafty stash. 394.926. So all I'm going to do now is I've moved it over. Okay. I'm just going on again. I've used some of the beigey coloured ink. Yeah. I think this might be from the tea time, which has the mid tones. So I put that in. Yeah. I'm going to take my brush that has a little bit of the black on it just to darken that and can you see there now i've oh, got the I've mountains and the hills going back yeah, yeah okay so what lovely. i want to do is i want to create now the sky okay okay so but what i want to do is i don't want the sky to come it would be behind these mm. wouldn't it so what you actually do is i use the actual negative piece <gasps> I, do you know what, John? I was sitting here thinking, how's he going to do that? So you see there of where it's, it's, it's actually not covering my work. Well, I just put my rule in. Of course. To cover that. So now I'm going to go with a pale blue. So this is a nice pale blue. And again, every shade in here yep. is different than, what we are, than the original sets that yes. we launched. There's no repeat colours. So I'm just going to pick up this blue and I'm just going to, you'll think I'm doing nothing. And this, I, this is why I love these sort of paler colours. You genuinely think I'm doing absolutely nothing. Okay. Well, I so didn't like to say, John, you But know. it does, you, you'll, see, <laughs> you'll see nothing at home on this. It's like, why is he wiping a clean brush over that? <laughs> but the pale colours, if I just lift that a little bit, can you see that? <gasps> oh, yeah. Right, okay. So now I want to, because the sky's darker at the top. Yep. So I'm going to go for this mid-blue. And uh, to do this at home, I'd have to have 24 inks out <laughs> well, yeah, with 24 yeah. lids to find. <laughs> and, and all not the boxes break. and drawers that and would be uh, yeah. open. <laughs> and it's so much easier. So I'm taking this mid blue. You see there, I'm just sweeping it at the top. And the I'm using the base, <coughs> the, the lid of my press to impress as my palette because yes. it's completely flat. So you can because use it Because it's smooth, as a palette, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's completely smooth, right. I'm putting that in place. So this is the mountains, yeah? Taking some of the darker blue, and I'm just <coughs> flicking up from it. And it's just so that, can you see there, I get a little bit where it's just, it gives me almost like a white line. So it just gives me a darker line there. So I just want that, that little bit darker, so I'm just going to take a little bit more mid-blue. 
Okay. And then pick that up and I'm going up. Just flicking up. Okay, but you see now I've got a haze around that mountain. I do the same with the other piece. And again, just flick up. This just is like why this that. stencil is so busy. You see how much easier this is to We're do? We're limited stock, John, on the Whoa. stencil. Oh, Sorry. my goodness. It's, oh, it is an absolute fantastic stencil to get because, again, it's like a workstation for you. You've got the mountains, the clouds, the sun, the moon. You've got the masking elements, the innies, the outies, as we call them. You've got those lovely pattern shapes as well, so you can build up your backgrounds in there. Something to suit all projects, whether it's a lovely botanical project, a lovely landscape project we've sold out. I can't say any more about that. Oh, my days. Sorry. Oh, so, what a fab! Oh, I'm really, really pleased everyone's got that because seeing John demonstrate it, it was just fantastic, wasn't it? It really, really was. We've not finished with this demonstration. We'll carry on, but uh, we'll bring up the details now on the screen for the stencils and the ink sets. Fifty-three ninety-five. I still can't get over that price. That also includes the art board as well. That is a fabulous deal, John. It really it is. It really is. It genuinely is. So what I've got here is I've got the moon or the sun. Yep. But how would you tape that down normally? I don't know. Because how would you stop that from moving? Well, you, if you put tape on it, wouldn't yeah. the tape go across if, it? Yeah, exactly. So how so you tack it? But you can't oh, no, tape I mean into that bit. Tack it? You'd have to use a spray, a temporary spray glue, and that can leave a residue. Oh, I don't, yeah. yeah. So all I've done is just put a magnet in place, that's it. And I'm going to take this darker blue. So this is the darkest blue that we've got in this set. Lay it down going to use the same brush again, pick that up and all I'm going to do is go around the edge and just go around the edge of that moon. Again, you'll think you're doing nothing, I promise you, but you're not. When I take that away... Oh, look at that! There's the moon, yeah. But finally, we, would, we live in Britain, don't we? We do. So we'd have some clouds. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to take the cloud line and this time I'm taking the brush and I'll check it. So I'll, tell, I'll show you how to load a new one because I don't know which one it is. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit again of my black VersaFine on Onyx ink. Yeah. yeah. Take a brush, pick that up. Let's go with a bigger one. Pick that up. Just work a little bit off. Yep. Yeah. And then all I'm going to do is lay down and you can, you can again magnet this down but I'm going to do it really quickly. And all I'm doing is going around the edge of that cloud line. Oh, John. And always do your moon first because your clouds are over the moon, not behind it. Of course. And I used to get that wrong. Do you know what that, somebody told me that was called the other day. Was it, was it a, uh, a bat wing moon? Oh. It was either a bat moon or a bat winged moon. Or was it a bat but cloud then moon? I've got the clouds and just remember... Clouds can come across the mountains, can't they, and be yeah. behind them. Yeah, they can. So they I'm can nestle put, within them I'm as gonna well. I'm going to put my cloud line there, yeah? I'm going to grab my mountain shape to blank that mountain off. Okay. Yeah? And I'm just going to go over like that. And you'll see there, I've got a cloud behind the mountain. Oh, John, I just want to go there. To finish it off... That must be where Els lives. Uh, do you know it is, it yeah, is. With, with the snow as well, <laughs> bless her. I'm just using whatever's left on this one as yeah. black, yeah, and I'm just going around the edge. Again, you, it looks like you're doing nothing, but all you're doing is darkening that edge and 3Ding it so that when I take these magnets off, yeah, I must... Easy, the easy lift magnets, by the way, they go that way with the tab at the top yep. so you can pick them up. When they go that way, they're a nightmare to pick up. But I reveal that. <gasps> You're looking Look through a window. So if I hold this one up so oh, you can John, see that. Oh, John, that looks amazing. Do you know what you need there? A little tiny stag. I do. A little oh, tiny stag. For me, yeah, yeah. I, I really, really do. But wow. what I, it just works so well. And you see, I've got it a little bit messy here. Did you? Yeah, just at that point there, I can see a bit of a gap between that mountain and there. Okay. Yeah, so it's really simple. I put it back in place. I put my protective stencil back in place. Yes. My outline, yeah. Just find the line. Yeah. On that mountain. 
let's see which way it goes because of course you can use these either side okay no it must be the other way then so back in place clicks back in there we go there we go oh take yeah. the black one and i'm just going to darken that area there around the top of that hill just to take that away oh. and there we've got I'm speechless, John. Honestly, that is absolutely beautiful. And it's just the Christmas. And do you know what? There's, there's even more to these demonstrations that we can tell you. We can tell people after we've given you a reminder of the stamps about the measuring to cut it out with yes. the rule. You wait till you see that demo. That, that will just make everything so clear to you. Right. We have got something on a picture to show you. No, nope, never mind. Right, stand by your beds. Let's have a look at the stamps instead. Here we go. 068964. Over 80 percent of the stock has gone. 24 pounds and 98 pence. Let's show you some samples here of inspirational cards that you can make and create. Now, these are exclusive to us here at the craft store. When they've gone, they've gone. Then all the stock has gone. You won't be able to get them anymore. Don't miss out on these. What beautiful designs. And it's as nature intended them to be. Now, if you're using these with your stamping platform that you're getting from us today, marvellous. Uh, if you're not, then you can use them in other ways with different platforms or... or um, if you've already got one or your plant uh, stamping blocks, for example, beautiful detail in there. Whether you are putting down your background and just using the stamps to overlay on that background. How lovely is that card? That is gorgeous. Uh, that is by Margaret. We've got another one here by Margaret as well. I think this is on a bit of uh, vellum which looks beautiful. We do love daffodils, don't we, in this country? Uh, we really, really do. And then let me show you this sample because this one's interesting. This one, next one is by Leslie. This is fabulous, John. I like what she's done it's here. absolutely beautiful. Isn't that cool? Is it that glossy really accents is. in there? Yeah, on what there? She's actually, I think she's stamped it in white embossing ink onto vellum. Wow. Then she's coloured it from behind with blending brushes and then she's piped glossy accents into the areas. Wow. I mean, it's one of those you need to see in real life. To yeah. It's so tactile, that yeah, card is Yeah, it really is. That is absolutely stunning. Oh, well done, well done, beautiful. Oh, another couple of samples. I've just seen another one down here. Uh, that one is by Maxine. Thanks to all, of course, the design team. Yeah, the angels have been brilliant. It, it was Margaret, Sam, Leslie and Maxine who've helped on this one. Oh, look at and that. And I love this one of Maxine's. I think that is just so beautiful. Yes, quite a bit of fussy cutting, but what a stunning card. That, that is stunning. That And just how daisies are when they grow. Yeah. Oh, they're beautiful. It, that makes me think of gerberas. Yeah. I almost think of sort of a, a bright selection of pop of gerberas yeah, in that one. Yeah, that'd be lovely. £24.98. pence. We are now approaching limited stock, and when it's gone, it's gone. We can't get any more. We won't have on any extended delivery or anything like that. Once it's gone, it has gone. So do get those into your basket and check on out. Uh, right, let's have a look at the finger stamps. These are my favourite. Three quarters of the stock has gone. Oh my days, these are absolutely beautiful. Have a look at some of the samples here. So we've got this beautiful display. It's a kaleidoscope of butterflies. You can see them just fluttering across your design there. That's the same stamp, but stamped many times. Isn't that lovely? Again, more butterflies, this time going onto the tag. You're designing this, you're creating this. So you've got your corners, you've got your overlay in there as well. It's the detail in the stamps. Have a look at this. Have a look at the flowers that we've got here. And those details, as small as they are, are absolutely stunning. You've got some lovely flowers in there. You've even got the dandelion clock as well. You've got some beautiful creatures as well. You've got your dragonfly, your butterflies in there. You've got your Christmas elements as well. So you've got 67 67 stamps in total, 17 pounds and 95 pence, saving four pounds. Uh, gives you the whole 67 stamps in total. Now we've got long queues on the phone, but we will get through your calls. We were very busy in the earlier show. And we got through to everybody. Um, the easiest way to buy anything, of course, is the website. Why? Because you can go onto the website, you can put things into your basket yourself. You don't need to wait for someone to do that for you. And then you can just click Flexi Buy if that's what you want. We'll divide the cost into two monthly payments. Um, or you can just check out with the full price if you want to. You can also download the app as well and order via the app. So plenty of ways to do that. But if you are on phones, 
bear with us. We're going to get through your calls. And in the meantime, have a look at this. And that last sample was using the heart aperture. So there's lots of different ways you can use it, not just as a backdrop to your designs, but you can put your designs inside your apertures and they always look absolutely fantastic. As a demonstration showed with John building up that scene. So whichever one you're using, whether you're using them with your inks as a backdrop, whether you're filling the space as well, they're all going to look absolutely stunning. And if you're going for those finger stamps, this was a sample that uh, John put together in the previous show. Isn't that lovely? But started off with the circular aperture and then stamped around the outside to get that shape. So there is so many different ways of using them. And the great thing is you've got all of them, all of them included in your one day special alongside your artboard and alongside those inks as well. My goodness, these are great value for money. And you've got your whole crafting workshop right there with you. So if this is a gift for somebody, lucky them. And I'll tell you what, we'll divide the cost into two monthly payments. So it's a good way of budgeting. Uh, so if you're buying this, you know, with your friends or your families, maybe two of you are buying it for your mum or your dad or something like that, that could be a way of buying. We like to give you choice here at the craft store and you're always in control of how much you spend because you decide what you put into your basket. 099443 is your item number. Right, John? Right, so you mentioned about the rules. Yes. And about and this is one of the big things that I would struggle on. And I, okay. I came up with this idea basically when I was watching Leone and I've got to stop mentioning her bless her because <laughs> I've done it in every show. But the, the rules that you get inside here, and again, I could use this on my metal plate. Remember your metal plate can be independent. Yes. You can show you, and I will show you in the four o'clock show how you can use it in a journal book. Okay. To actually get things right. But because your rules actually start at zero. So if you want to, I want to cut this out evenly, but it's not actually even even on the paper. No, it's so not. So that would be, I'd start trimming it and I'd trim down to nothing. Yeah. I could use the press cut dies right. yep. that match it, but I'm not, you know, I'm not going to, not necessarily got those. So all you do is you get the zero roughly in the middle. Yeah. Okay. And basically you take it down until you're even on both sides. Can you see that that's two and three quarter inches? Yeah, I can. And that's two and three quarter inches. So the measurement goes both ways. So that's bang in the middle in both ways. Right. So let's say I want, um, I want half an inch border on this. Yeah. Yeah. So what I do is I go on half an inch and put a dot there. Okay. I go on half an inch and put a dot there. Okay. Yeah. I can then rotate it round, or use the smaller rule and do them both together. And again. If you notice here, it's even on the two inch mark. It is. Yeah. So I need half an inch. So I go half an inch there and half an inch there. And that's it. That's it. That's all I need to cut that out evenly. Do we not need to put the lines no. down, the lines across? That's and what up. your guillotine will do because this is completely flat to your paper. Yeah. Because your paper was flat to the lip and the stencil was flat to the top. Got you. So this is completely straight bang in the middle of your paper. So all you need to do is move that into your guillotine until you find your dot and trim. Wow. Rotate it How round. How easy is that? Find your dot and trim. I've do you know what, John? Bit. Even I could do that. Find your dot. It's so easy. Having the measurements come dot. from the middle out, uh, that's genius. That is now even on all four sides. Look at that. And it looks like you've mat and layered that. The, yeah. the, the, the aperture, it looks like you've created that. You've stuck that onto the card. Oh, completely flat. 
Look at that. But you don't need to cut it out, so that makes it completely. So that's why those rules are so, so useful. Yeah, they are. Because once, and you can use it for anything, yeah. but now you don't have to judge it by eye, and all you've got to do is put four dots on. So we're saving money by not using tape when we're using the stencils on the platform alongside yep. the rules. Um, we're saving money now because, dare I say it, we don't have to do the mat and layering so much even because we've got the aperture already to create that effect. And then we're measuring outwards to build that design around there. How cool is that? As John said, he does like cheating uh, and he does like making life easy for himself, but also for you guys as well. If you're new to crafting, what a great way to begin. And if you've been crafting for quite some time, what a great way to continue. Now, the brushes that John um, is using, we've been very busy for these and we've got them available for you. You've got five brushes. We've got five different sizes. So you go from your large one all the way down to the tiny teeny one which is brilliant. Uh, if these were toothbrushes, that would be your daddy bear or your mummy bear. And that one there would be the little gerbil to brush their teeth. I don't know, bears might brush their teeth. I've never got close enough to ask one or to, or to smell their breath, I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Very swiftly, I would think. <laughs> yes, you've got your case as well. Now, you can unravel this, unlike I unravel my words. Uh, and inside here, you can pop your brushes. You could also add some other items to that as well. Now, if you've already got the brushes and you want the case, we do have that available for you. But the brushes and the case, fifteen ninety nine. If you want to go for the case on its own, it's at the end of call. It's a free delivery add-on, which means that you don't pay any P&P on it, even if you're not a Freedom member. Freedom members don't pay P&P &P on anything, actually. Um, but that's your end of Cool. You can just add that to your basket, £3.49. pence. There's some great end of calls on there, actually. Your um, triple action dye cleaner brush. Oh, that's worth that having. That is really useful and worth having. And what we've also got on there, you notice, are the two trimmer blades, because we promised yes. we sell the trimmer that we would keep the trimmer blades on here for people oh, when they want to replace them, because that's the most irritating thing when you buy a trimmer. Yes. Is when yeah. it goes blunts and you can't find the blades anymore. Oh, well, that's great. You've got two of those for 4 99 Excellent deal. Excellent deal. And don't forget, you've got the monochrome paper pad as well. Five minutes left. My word. Where does the time Where go? Where did this hour go? I've no idea. Has I'll somebody do just taken it away from us? I think they do. I think they come and steal it. That is amazing. Well, I thought we'll do something really, really quick. Yes. Yep. Just again, something that you can make as a really quick card. So I've, you know, I've got less than five minutes, um, but you can really get an effect with. So I've put down some of the red pearlized ink yep. onto my sort of palette. And all I'm doing, I've put in here white card. Okay. Um, so I've got white card, I've got the stencil board, so the art board is on there and I've put the stencil on with the rectangle. Okay. And I'm not trying to get this smooth. No. Okay. What I'm doing is I want it to have a cloudy appearance. I like it. Okay. So I want to have a cloudy appearance because what I'm going to do now is, this is where the press to impress to me really impresses me. We made these stencils fine enough okay. so that you can actually stamp through them. Through so them. I'm going to add, now, I'm using the daisy. They're limited stock, by the way. These stamps are limited stock. You're going through the stencil? I'm going through the stencil, and that's why the stencils are that little bit finer. Is this like a show at Las Vegas, where yeah. they do the illusions? It is, yeah. Excellent, it's, it's, I'm in the front basically row. basically making us look really clever, like we've done lots and lots of masking. So all I'm going to do then is stamp that and press it down. If you struggle with pressure, use a brayer. Yeah. Stand Good on it idea. if you want. Rolling pin. Rolling pin. Yeah. Bottle of wine from last night, That's as you right. said. That's right. Yeah, we'll have that. Okay. So missed a bit there because I didn't ink it. So not a problem. Stamp stays in the same place. Stencil stays in the same place. Card stays in the same place. And how many times have you tried to re-stamp and you just oh. get it a millimeter out and it's like oh number of times I used to yeah. pattern build and get one in the wrong place. <coughs> oh, I've got to start that one again for a sample. You see there, all that detailing missed a little bit on that line, so we just press it down a little bit more. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna actually now we'll we'll leave it I would normally I would actually sort of put a little bit more in. Okay. Um, and probably pull it out oh. or you know, use the smaller, I can actually use the smaller little spray there, okay. We're very busy And what I did with the smaller spray is mirror image and it shrank. So it's the same artwork, but it's been made smaller and mirrored, so you've got two different options. So again, just press it down well, 
you can see there, just give it a good press. There we go. So I've got all of that. Yeah, I'm then simply going to take a micron pen. Okay. But you could use a black pen, you could use... I mean, I brought loads of different ones with me, to be honest. Um, but I'll well, just use a black micron pen. Be a little bit careful, because remember, this ink is going to be live. But I'm just... And this covers over anywhere that you may have missed with the stamping. We'll take that out, we'll slide our paper out, and there you go. Oh, look at... Oh, John. Again, you could use the ruler. You could go all the way around the edge, yep. and it looks like you've mat and layered. But you would think... That's amazing. ...that you had spent hours and hours and hours on that and that you'd masked it, and how have you got that background, and how have you got the line around it so straight? Well, I've did that in, I think it was two and a half minutes. That's from fabulous. Start to finish. That's fabulous. And anyone can do that, because yeah. it's the tools that do the job, not us. Yeah, oh, that is absolutely fantastic. Now, limited stock for those beautiful floral stamps. It's the only place you can get them here on the craft store. They're not available anywhere else, and when they've gone, they've gone. So now's your chance to get them into your basket. 068964 is your item number. Right, your one-day special. It's going to be available at a discounted price all the way through until 6 p.m. tonight. Will we have the stock by the time that comes? I'm not so sure. We've had an incredibly busy show. If you want to go for your one-day special, you've got your stencils option with your artboard and your rules, and you can go for the inks as well. Those are the details we've got on the screen. 53.95. Or as a Freedom member, you're saving your four pounds, your four pounds, and then an extra 10% on top, and you can divide the cost into two payments as well. Lots of options for you to choose from. Head to the website and have a look at them all there. John, thank, thank you. you so much. What a great couple of hours we've had today. I've really enjoyed this. Yeah. I really have, and hopefully everyone at home has, and they've learned something. Yes, they certainly have. They certainly have. We'll see you later at four o'clock. Yes, Excellent. I'll see you soon. Uh, we shall see you guys in a few moments' time. Do check out your baskets, uh, but uh, grab yourself a cuppa and come back in a